Uh, Ms. Johnson, uh, to your parents, thank them for their service. Uh, you have a very compelling story. <clears throat> when you were at Princeton, which is a no small feat, uh, you wrote a thesis called Armed Citizens, African American and Muslim American Political Use of Military Service Rights. Do you remember that? Yes, Senator. Okay. In that you state, uh, in the interest of national security, this is post 9-11, the U.S. government legally sanctioned discriminatory targeting of Muslim Americans and signaled to their community that their citizenship was fragile at best. What was, what specifically made you conclude that? Senator, I don't recall the specific context of that particular line that, that you're reading back to me. Okay. Um, but I can tell you the context of, of why I wrote my thesis. Um, and it was, and it was my, my parents' um, service to this country um, and to honor their service um, and um, to recognize um, the important role of military service among um, minorities in the United States. Let me read something else. <clears throat> Though Muslims in the U.S. have a great deal to gain by drawing attention to their service, in the military and their dedication to fighting terrorism, they also risk alienating a part of their identity by serving a non-Muslim nation. One of the more integral concepts in Islam is the notion of solidarity among Muslims and the problem of a non-Muslim or infidel states. Non-Muslim states do not protect or nourish the interests of Muslims, nor are they particularly motivated to protect Muslim states. The associated obligations of citizenship in non-Muslim states have a require that Muslim citizens submit to supporting a nation state that could be potentially threatening to a Muslim state. What's your point here? Senator, I don't recall the, the context of, of that passage you just read, nor do I recall the, the basis for that research. Um, it was part of my, my coursework at, at Princeton. Well, um, you, you come from a military family, and you obviously a, a respect that about your family. I just want to <clears throat> caution anybody to suggest that because of your faith or your background, you, you, you could potentially not be all in for America. I don't, I don't find anybody's faith disqualifying. I don't, f you know, the whole putting the Japanese Americans in internment camps, you just assume because they were Japanese, they couldn't be loyal to the country. So I, I would just caution this idea that somehow, no matter what your background, that <clears throat> it would prevent you from showing allegiance to your country because we have thousands of Muslims who, in the, who are in the military and I want to honor their service, not question it. Thank you. Senator Hirono. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Congratulations to 